Hey there, here are some travel tips on what not to wear through airport security. I will teach you how to get through the TSA line without being pulled out of the line for extra security screening. Pack those items that might make the TSA alarm go off instead of wearing it as part of your travel outfit in the airport. The Transportation Security Administration screens your carry-on bags and your airport outfit for any harmful objects. They want to keep the passengers safe. They want to screen any of the carry-on bag items that could be harmful to the crew in the airplane or airport staff. So your travel outfit is being screened as you walk through the TSA line, as are your carry-on bags. Tip number one is to not have any metallic bling on your jeans that you are wearing or any metallic threading that may be in your shirt. About four years ago, I wore a cute Christmas shirt on Christmas day, flying to Georgia to see my mom and the pocket of my shirt had sequins all over that pocket. I should have known better. And I have been a pilot wife for over 20 years. So that's 15 years in of going through the TSA line. And I had to be flagged and pulled out of the line for extra screening. Even metallic threading, some of it you can barely see. They're long pieces of metallic or silver threading that is embedded in a lot of blouses that people travel with. There's also the little jewels that can be on your jeans that would make the alarm go off. And the whole reason why we do not want the alarm to go off is so that we are not delayed in getting to our flight. A lot of the people, especially on my Instagram channel uh, or my Instagram page, Travel Tips by Laurie, they are worried about getting in trouble. One tip to help you not be that worried at the very beginning of your vacation is to know that you will not get in trouble for making the alarm go off with metallic threading. <laughs> but it will delay you a few minutes or more because they have to find a staff member to wand you, okay? Also, metallic jewelry, like I have never worn my grandmother's cheap big gold ring through airport security, but I might just keep that in the pocket of my personal item bag until I get through airport security. So I don't even put that on at home when I'm getting dressed to go to the airport. One thing that I did wear last year, I think, in airport security that made the alarm go off, I was actually in the TSA pre-check line. These thin, cheap, met I mean, I guess they must have metal in them. Um, they made the alarm go off. So I had to get out of line and just, I was able to put them in the little bin. Thankfully, I didn't have to be wanded or whatever. Um, this type, of bracelet set. I think this is from Loft. They're plastic gold beads or pearls and they will not make the alarm go off. My watch has never made the alarm go off, okay? If you were wearing a hat through the airport security line, they may want you to take it off. It may not, it, you will not make the alarm go off, but just know you may have to take it off. Another item to not wear in airport security is your belt. Even in TSA pre-check, this entire year, just at IAH in Houston, I have had to take off my belt in pre-check. And I have seen other men have to take off their belt as well. My tip is before you even leave your house, put your belt in your carry-on bag or your personal item bag so that you are not having to remember that along with everything else when you do get to the airport. Another thing that I learned probably five years ago when my husband upgraded to captain, my son and I flew from Houston to where he was getting this special pin and I wore my outfit for that ceremony inside the airplane. I wore my really cute and pretty and comfortable pull on boots. Well, in security, those boots for some reason made the alarm go off. And so I did have to take them off. Well, take it from me, even if you have regular security or pre-check, do not wear pull-on or pull-off boots unless they are super easy to get off of your foot. 
These are two of my newest boots and they are completely waterproof for those of you who are planning a Christmas market trip or a trip on cobblestone roads. They're very comfortable, but you want the zipper to be easily slidable, okay? And you also want your foot to be able to slip out. You don't want it to be a completely loose shoe, but you do want to be able to get your foot in there easily so that you're not stressed. I would pack my shoes that have laces in my carry-on suitcase, or another option is untie your shoes, loosen them a lot so that they can, that they are now slip on, slide on shoes, and then tie them like that, just for the airport security line, like before you even leave your house. So they're loose for you to slide on and slide off, and then after the security line, you would then tighten them up and tie them like regular. One passenger mistake that I have had several questions about is can you wear the money belt hidden under your trousers through airport security line? Like if you have an international flight to catch and the answer is no, you cannot wear that. Do not wear even my stretchy band that goes under your pants. If what you are wearing does make the alarm go off when you walk through airport security screening, there are four tips that I have that will help you not lose it. <laughs> Number one, get to the airport two hours before your plane allows people to walk on board. That means that if you are flying in your country, that plane is going to board 30 minutes before departure time. That's on your ticket, that's on your email that you get, that's the departure time. Make sure you're in the boarding area, ready to get on the plane 30 minutes prior. And then when you get to the airport, it would be two hours before that. So if your flight is at 2 p.m., you need to be in the boarding area at 1.30, but you'll need to be in the airport by 11.30. And that way you are not stressed. I These tips are helping you be less stressed because you stressed less ahead of time. Tip number two in the security line is be respectful. No matter how they are treating you or no matter how they are speaking to the crowd. Number three, do your best ahead of time to pack your liquids in an easily accessible pocket. Be prepared by pulling out your electronics that are larger than a phone. Do not wear the belt. Have your shoes ready to be taken off in regular airport security line. And then you can rest assured that no matter how rude or how rushed you are feeling, you have done your best. So do your best ahead of time. And number four, do not let anything that happens in the airport security line ruin your vacation before it even starts. Just so you know, after 20 years, if I'm going on a week-long vacation and I pack a bag of coffee grounds that's already ground up, I will still put it in the TSA gray bin and it always makes the alarm go off. I don't know what it is with the new technology or old technology in some airports that allows them to need to screen it again or to squish and smush it to see if there's anything inside it. And that's me. So I don't let it ruin my vacation, but I've done my best by putting it in the gray bin if it is a persnickety item like that. If you want to, you can put your bracelets, your cheap bracelets. I never travel with expensive jewelry or my fine jewelry, except my wedding, wedding band. I changed that. My wedding band was not expensive at all, <laughs> but my diamond was. And I'm wearing it. It took me 30 years to get that diamond ring. I'm still gonna wear it during the, through airport security, okay? Another very important tip, if you are going through airport security and do not want any stress, okay? Make sure you choose a personal item bag that has a zipper on top. So many tote bags that women are carrying through do not have a zipper on top. That means you can lose an item so easily in the security line. Someone can steal one of your items very easily walking through the airport or a train station when you get to your destination. And it's just less stress, especially when you get in your airplane seat, ready to go on your vacation, you stuff your bag under the airplane seat, and then the flight attendant says, um, it's sticking out one inch, stick it under a little further, so you smush it under that 
airplane seat, you do not want anything falling out mid-flight, okay? Save yourself some stress by having that zipper. Another thing that can cause problems in the airport security lane that I have found is I feel pressure. Even after 20 years, I feel pressure like I'm rushed from the people behind me. I'm never going to see those people again. So those four tips are going to help me stay sane and focused and not flustered, okay? I have some more things that you should not wear in the TSA line uh, to help you not get pulled out and then delayed for your flight. One of them is a bulky dress, um, like one long denim dress. Those big dresses create pockets of air in between your legs and for some reason, the screening machine in the TSA line cannot see it or it shows up as something dangerous. <laughs> One other thing that I have seen in Las Vegas and I've heard from you is if you have voluminous, beautiful hair, do not wear it in a bun just for the airport security line because their machine cannot see through it. So that you will have to take down your hair or they will have to push their fingers through your fun, messy bun, and then you'll have to correct it, okay? Another thing that I've heard from a viewer last year, and let's remember, all TSA officers, just like employees at all places of work, some of them do not know all the rules, some of them are rude, and some of them are the best nurses you've ever had at your bedside. <laughs> So there are some TSA, officer, TSA officers who can be rude and who have been rude to me. I just keep going and shake it off. Duck feathers is what I say. But one lady said that she wore a blazer dress, like a suit coat, but it was supposed to be a dress, super short, and they made her take it off because it was an outer garment or it is technically a jacket. Another thing I would not wear in regular airport security, if you do not have TSA pre-check here in the United States, is a jacket, a sweater, even a cardigan, um, any kind of a sweatshirt. They will 99.9% .9 of the time make you take it off. So make sure you have a shirt or a tank top underneath just in case. One other item is a poncho or a cozy, warm shawl, okay? Those, one, they mess up your whole airport outfit look. They get caught on the backs of the airplane seats. I have it in what not to wear in the airplane video, which is one of my top videos ever watched, still six years later. It is so cumbersome just for the airport security line. One, you will have to take it off, but just pack it in your carry-on suitcase and wear another top layer that's easier to get on and off and easier to move around in when you are squished in between two passengers maybe. But they're so cute. <laughs> There is an update for the TSA line that I hope is going to be coming out. It's mostly across the United States right now, is that we will no longer have to pull out our liquids bag. And many of you have not had to pull out your liquids bag in years because your airport has had newer screening machines, but it's not in print yet. The rule still stands. The containers for your liquids have to be 3.4 ounces or smaller, and they are supposed to fit, um, according to the TSA website, they are supposed to fit in a quart-sized zipped bag. When I was in the Denver Airport Hotel last two weeks ago with my high school best friend, she packs the kitchen sink in her pouch. She has all of her liquid foundation and skincare items with her dry makeup and stuff like that, other toiletry items. And they never said anything. And she's been traveling almost every weekend. So take that for what it's worth. If you want to just split them up throughout your whole carry-on suitcase, you can start trying that. I would just have that quart-sized bag there just in case, but that's hopefully a new update coming up. And then one more tip to help you, well, two more tips to help you through the airport security, airport security line. And that is, 
One is to practice going through the security line, taking out your liquids bag, taking off your shoes, and taking out your electronics that are larger than a cell phone, and then putting them all back on. That is going to help you be less stressed because you stress less by doing it at home. Another tip I have for you is for when you are placing your carry-on bags on top of the conveyor belt to be screened by airport security, my tip is to put your personal item bag first, start pushing that, and then put your carry-on suitcase on there and start pushing it. When you go through airport security and the little machine, the backpack, you can put it on right then and there or get the trolley strap ready and then you'll have pull off your suitcase and then you can easily slide that trolley strap over your carry-on suitcase handles and you'll be ready to go if you need a toiletry everything video i have a fantastic video that i just released last week you're going to find so many tips from it i will link it up there i have been working on a blog for like a year it's taken forever but i do have a freebie that you can download if you sign up with your email it's got like 75 items of an ultimate packing list that means you can take from it what you need for each season or for that particular trip that I will put in the first comment as well. So be sure to look for that. List your little tips. Do not be ugly. If there are any dangerous things or extremist things written in comments, I can hide you from our channel forever. Um, just list your tips and tricks, especially that you know of, and do not miss our other passenger or other community members comments because they travel more than I do. Okay. Everything will be linked in the first comment as well as in the description box right underneath this video. Thanks again. I hope you have a great fall and winter.